Man, I told y'all time and time again, we Redskins fans over here. No other stuff. That's how it's gonna be. Yeah. Man, we Redskins over here. Lead them cowgirls over there. Man, we Redskins over here. Lead them cowgirls over there. I don't like Eagles, I don't like Giants, man. We Redskins till we die. We don't like Eagles, we don't like Giants, man. We Redskins till we die. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video. And in today's video, we have some more news from the Combine that Ron Rivera and Kyle Smith both said today that you guys would want to know about. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload a video about the Redskins or the NFL. And let's get straight into today's video. Let's see what Riverboat Ron got to say, man. Let's go. So... This video won't be long, man, because it's not a lot of news, but we just have a little little something to report on multiple topics today. So let's get let's get straight into the first topic. So Ron Rivera and the gang said today in Indianapolis that they will be interviewing not every prospect, but quarterbacks, man. And I know that kind of, you know, got people kind of feeling some sort of way because they feel that Dwayne Haskins is the future. But we have news that the Redskins will be interviewing or is having sit-down conversations and meetings with Joe Burrow, Tua Tagovailoa. Those are just some names to name a few. So they will be interviewing quarterbacks for the number two pick. And I don't want people to be, get bent all out of shape and thinking that we will be drafting the quarterback at number two because that that will not be happening. But that's they're just doing their job, man. They're just doing what they need to do. They have to draft. They have to excuse me. They have to interview almost every prospect at the draft. So even if quarterback isn't a need, they still will be doing it and people were getting all you know mad and stuff that we were interviewing Tua and then and, and, um, Joe Burrow because they feel that that's a threat to Dwayne Haskins and they feel that Dwayne Haskins won't be the starter but trust me Ron Rivera said it himself that that Dwayne Haskins is the future and he has faith in Dwayne Haskins he's not he didn't earn a starting spot yet but he has you know he has the tools to become the starter so trust me when I say this the Redskins are not drafting another quarterback this year whatever you think that if you think that man you might as well just get it out your head now they're just doing their job they're just doing their job that's like you at your job at your job whatever your occupation is that's like you another company coming in and interviewing you just for whatever reason they're just doing it they're not doing it because they want to take you from that job they're just you know coming in to talk man i know that probably wasn't a good reference but that's just what i thought off on the top of my head so they're just doing you know their job like they're just doing their job guys so i don't want nobody because there was a lot of people freaking out that we were draft that we were in conversation with joe burrow and tua tug of Aloha. now is it completely off the table no it's not you know it's not completely off the table but is it it's highly unlikely so guys please calm down don't freak out about this whole thing about us um, interviewing quarterbacks because i feel like we're going to be interviewing jordan love too from utah state we, we're going to be interviewing a lot of quarterbacks you know so they're just doing their job guys so I don't want you guys to get bent all out of shape, man. Dwayne Haskins is the future of this team. Um, Kyle Smith came out and said it. He has faith in Dwayne Haskins. He's ready to go. Like I said in my video yesterday, check it out if you haven't. But um, I'm just reporting, doing my job. Um, the Redskins will be interviewing a lot of quarterbacks at this year's combine. You know what I mean? Just like every other team will. No matter if you're if you're Tom Brady, if you're Carson Wentz, if even teams that know that they have a quarterback in 2020 are still doing interviews with Joe Burrow and Tua Tagovailoa. They're just doing their job. It's just a part of their job. I don't want to spend too much more time on this topic because it's really a waste of time, honestly. Um, I could see why people think that we are, um, you know, we, we might pick a quarterback at number two because we're high in this draft. But I personally think that if we were to trade back, which will not happen, and it's highly unlikely that it's happening, we are just using it as bait for other teams that wants to be nosy and look at what the Redskins are doing. We want to be no they want to um they want to be nosy and we want to make it seem like we're picking a good quarterback. So that's why we put it out there that we're you know in conversation with Tua Tagovailoa and Joe Burrow because we very well could not be talking to them at all. But we could just be using this as trade bait for people that want to get you know Tua Tagovailoa or you know somehow get Joe Burrow. They want to trade up to get to the number two spot to get um. 
um, these quarterbacks. So we're just using it as trade bait, guys. That's what I personally think it is. Or maybe they could just be talking to him, but calm down don't overthink it don't think too much into it Dwayne Haskins this is his team this is his team going forward if he picks if they pick a quarterback this year I will be highly highly shocked I literally will be in shock I wouldn't know what to say if that happens I will literally get a tattoo on my face get a tattoo on my face that's how you know it's not happening. I'll get a tattoo on my face and I will dye my hair pink. That's how you know it's not happening. Now, I'm done talking about this topic. Number two pick is going to be Chase Young. If it's not, I will be surprised. And if they draft the quarterback, I will be even more surprised. So let's get straight into the other topic that I wanted to talk about in today's video that's very more exciting for Redskins fans around the world. Well, let's get straight into it. Okay, so Ron Rivera and the gang, they both said, they came out and said today that the Washington Redskins are highly, highly, not expecting, but they are looking to have a one-year turnaround in this in, with this with this new regime and they're not waiting they're not rebuilding they're they're looking to be like the 49ers you know how the 49ers were what seven and nine the previous year or two and 14 and then the following year they were in Super Bowl contenders with our situation is similar to the 49ers that's why you hear me and a lot of other Redskins youtubers compare us so much to the 49ers because they we like they said they had their healthy quarterback and they got a pass rusher and Nick Bosa the following year in the draft at the number two spot and we had what do we have this year the number two spot and who do we have coming out this year chase young a defensive end who is better than nick bosa and joey bosa coming out of college so that's why we compare ourselves so much to the 49ers because we literally what getting our health getting the quarterback back our quarterback back this year healthy because we know Dwayne haskins got hurt last year um and we also had a number two pick and who's going to be a number two pick Chase Young. So we compare ourselves to the 49ers, man. You see, they were one healthy quarterback and one defensive, one defensive end away from the Super Bowl. Look what happened. They made it to the Super Bowl. So the Redskins said that they are they they are not rebuilding. We're working quickly and working expeditiously to get this thing turned around within a year. They are they will not be shocked and they will they're not. I don't want to say they're expecting to have this thing turned around in one year, but they're selling us. They're basically telling us fans. To don't be surprised if this team went from a 3-13 team this year to, I don't want to set the bar too high because we know we don't need 14 wins to win the NFC East. Man, we're not the NFC West when we have Seattle and the 49ers in there fighting it out. And you have to have, what, at least 13 wins to compete for that division. You can literally win this division with nine wins. So if nine wins is good enough to get into the playoffs, that's what they mean about having this thing turned around in one year. You know what I mean? So don't be surprised if we go from 13 next last year to at least 11 and five this year, or maybe 14 and two. That's why you say that's why you hear me compare us to the 49ers so much because they were they were sucky, then they just became 14 and two because of that mean pass rush. And what do we have? A mean pass rush. They added on Nick Bosa. We're Adding on Chase Young. Do you see the connection here? They're getting a healthy quarterback that doesn't have to do a lot. And we're getting our healthy quarterback that I don't want to say hot, not has to do a lot, but is expected to ball out in his second year. So do you see what I'm saying here? Last thing I want to talk about before I get out of here is the Redskins also said that they expect to be very, very active and aggressive in this um free agency coming up the when are the redskins ever you know aggressive last year and the years before that when bruce allen was under the hand we were never aggressive in free agency we would we would wait we would sit back and let all the good players go by and then when we see one like the last player in that certain position that we are willing to pay for and we want we go out and give them a bulk a load of money like Landon Collins for an example not saying that Landon Collins isn't good because he definitely is good but we waited and waited and waited and Landon Collins was there and we paid him 85 million is, is Landon Collins worth 85 million I'm not saying he's not and I'm not saying he is all I all I can say is if I'm the if I'm the GM probably 55 mil is the max for me but not 85 mil josh norman 75 mil we waited and waited and waited got josh norman wouldn't let him leave the lead let what we wouldn't let him leave the facility and we got him 75 million for five years how did those five years turn out we know how he did he got released so 
the Redskins are finally becoming aggressive, and they expect it to be aggressive um, in this free agency. James Bradbury, Trey Boston, Austin Hooper. That's the top three, in my opinion, that I think we need to go after. But we will see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think down below, as always, about these topics. The Redskins are interviewing Joe Burrow and Tua Tagovailoa and a lot of more quarterbacks. Are you guys worried about for Dwayne Haskins? Are you guys worried at all any bit of them? Do you have a problem with them interviewing quarterbacks? Yes or no? Answer that question down below. And how do you feel about the Redskins being aggressive in free agency? Let me know what you guys think down below, as always. It's been your boy, Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Redskins. Non-stop grind this offseason. Probably starting to become daily videos, man. So, we'll see how long this takes. I just hope you guys support me and I will continue to be pulling out videos. Just all I ask is for you guys to share my channel, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.